Hi, in a previous post, I posted about a simple traffic light uh, we built on the breadboard using basic electronic components like transistors, a toggle switch, um, some jumper wires, and uh, two LEDs. So I included a lot of details about how to uh, make it look like a traffic light, but a lot of people ask about the breadboarding part and how this is done. So this is video. This video is about that. Um, so let's first power this on and see see it working in action. So you can see that the green light is on, and then if I switch it, the right light is on. So, so how this works? Let me first unplug it. Um, let me just unplug everything and then we can wire everything up. Hopefully in this way that it can make things clearer. Um, so I'll start with the the switch. You can see that the switch switch has three pins. Um, if the switch is on the right hand side, then these two pins are connected. So if it's on this side, left hand side, then these two pins are connected. So it toggles between these two stick. And um, um, this is just more like a breadboard 101 about how the wiring, um, how the basically how the breadboard is wired um, inside. So you can see that it has two stripes on the side. Um, this um, whole vertical stripe is connected underneath. Um, and then the, ne the one next to it also. Same applies to these two vertical stripes here. So they're all connected. And uh, on, the in, on the middle part, every single row the horizontal line, all the pins on each horizontal line are connected. So if I put so if I put a, a pin here and and here, so this basically does nothing because they they're connected anyway by the breadboard itself. Um, same thing applies to these two because they're connected as well. Anyway, so if I do this one and uh, this one, again, this did just did nothing because this row is connected anyway. So this is just how explain how the breadboard is uh, connected underneath. Um, you can actually buy those um, transparent breadboard that um, expose the wiring somewhat, but um, I don't necessarily recommend those because I don't think they have as a good a, as good a quality as this one. Um, so, but it's up to you though. So now let's get to the building part. So now we know the, how the breadboard works. Because the cardboard makes it a little bit harder to see what's inside. So instead of using this, I'm just going to use um, two LEDs to explain how um, the circuit works. So it's the same thing, it's just uh, without the box. So. So we earlier we went through about how the the toggle switch works. Um, remember that if the the knob is on the right hand side, these two pins are connected. If the knob is on the left hand side, the left um, two pins are connected. So now um, 
Let's take a look at the, the circuit diagram that we we're going to build. So we're going to, so this is, by the way, this is the power that, um, which is going to have a five volt direct current um, coming in. So the circuit diagram is going to look like you have five volt power and uh, it goes through a switch that can toggle between these two states. So it's basically either this connected to this one or the other. And uh, each one has a different LED. Let's say this is red, this is green. And then we really want to put a current um, current limit resistor here to prevent us from burning the LEDs. And this is the circuit diagram. And then we're going to build this on the breadboard. Okay, let's see if you can see it. Okay, so, so first is power. Let's uh, plug this in. Uh, it's not powered um, yet, uh, powered on just yet. So this is a power, which means like once it's powered, um, anything connected to this line, the black line, is connected to ground. So anything that's uh, connected to the red line is five volt. So, oh, so because it's all connected underneath. So this is power, and then first we want to have a switch. So I'm going to put a switch right here. And uh, we want to connect 5 volt to the middle pin of the switch. So this is uh, 5 volt and uh, to the middle pin of the switch here. So now the output, the 5 volt can be connected to either left, and, right, left pin or right pin. So I'm going to use this red, uh, red um, wire to represent the red LED. So it's going to be here. And then this is the LED. And the same thing for the green one. Okay, so um, we need to remember to put on the current limiting res resistor. And then at the end, they have to connect back to ground to complete the circuit. So before I power it on, I want to explain like the um, how the current is going to flow through the system. So first of all, 5 volt is going to go from here um, and go through the switch. Depends on where the, the knob is. Let's say it's on the uh, red right now. So, so this will effectively be disconnected. Green will be disconnected. And then red will be connected, So which means this is 5 volt. And um, so here, the red LED the positive pin of the red LED is connected to the red jumper wire. So it has a five volt coming in. And, um, oh, actually I, I put the resistor in the wrong place. It's good that we 
the walk through this first. So the resistor should be here. Uh, by the way, I put the LEDs in this layout because uh, it's closer to the to the traffic light layout. But anyway, okay, now this should be fixed. So the five volt will go from the positive through the LED to the negative, and then because this row is connected, it will go to this uh, uh, resistor on the right, and. Uh, goes through the black wire to ground. So this completes the circuit for the red LED. Same thing for the green LED. So if the switch is uh, on the left hand side, then red wire is disconnected. This is connected, which is, means five volt and five volt coming in and uh, go through the LED to the resistor and go to ground via this wire. So it looks like this should work. Let's power it on. All right, it doesn't. And why is that? Okay. So if we switch on to the red, um, on the right hand side, the red LED does go on. If we switch to the left hand side, the green LED does not. So let's see why is that. Oh, okay. So I can see why. So this is a, um, um, I think the two resistors have, are different. So this one is a 220 ohm resistor, and this one is much larger. I think it's. Um, 1000 ohm, 1k ohm, if uh, I remember correctly. So let's replace this with a smaller resistor. Because if the current uh, is too small, then the LED might not light up. And it also depends on the LED though. I think if I, if I just switch this the resistor, it would also just work. Okay. Interesting. Still doesn't work. Okay. Another thing to to check is that if this LED is working at all. So I'm going to change it. Place it with a uh, different LED and see if this one fixes it. Oh, I know why. Okay. <laughs> Fun times. Okay. So see this, this side? I actually connected to the wrong pin. So I should have connected to pin 20, uh, 20, 24, but I connected to pin 25. So see the two empty spots between the green and the red? There should have been just one because it, this is a three pin switch. So this is effectively disconnected all the time. So if I just, okay, now, there we, now we're talking. So the green light goes on and then if I switch to the right hand side, the red LED goes on. All right, so um, this is how we built the simple traffic light. And uh, hope you like it.